and soup has been my favorite soup for a very long time now and so far no soup have been able to replace it because this half and soup is always it always comes out very healthy very delicious and very nice hey guys cook with me while i show you how i made this um delicious healthy half and soup calabar style if you've not subscribed to my channel please help me do so like this video share comment Turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post amazing recipes like this. So for a start, I'll go in with my beef. Next, I'll go in with some seasoning cube. I like to use more cube for my seasoning though. So I'll go in with some seasoning cube, some salt, some salt and a little bit of water just a little water like so so because my meat is a kind of hard i like to go in with a little water so as to give my meat longer time to get ready so i'll just cover this up and let it come to a boil So my meat has been has been boiling for a while now and it's almost dry. Next I'll go in with some water to kick start my cook. So while I do that, I'll go in with my stockfish, like so. I'm going with some Cameroon pepper to have some. So I'll go in with some Cameroon pepper like so. Give it a, a stir. So I'll cover to boil some more. Mm, wow. My meat is almost ready and it's time to go in with my pepper mix. So this pepper mix comprises of um, pepper, yellow pepper and red pepper and crayfish with obey. Next I'll go in with my seasoning cube like so. I'll just go in with some seasoning cubes. Then go in with some more salt because the one I added earlier I noticed it wasn't going to be enough so I'll just go in with some more salt like so. Then I'll as well go in with some snails i mean what vegetable soup without snail so i felt this just the perfect time to go in with my snail so as to retain the fairness so when i've done that i'll go in with some so when i've done that i'll go in with some palm oil Then I'll just give it a beautiful stir because it's always best to um, go in with your palm oil at this point so as to give it enough time to cook because you don't want your palm oil testing raw. So my stockfish is still strong so I just want to go in with some water um, so I'll have enough water to cook my stockfish. So I'll cover and cook for a few more minutes. So guys, our our meat has been boiling. So it's time to introduce our vegetables. So I'm going in with my water leaf. Lots of it. A whole lot of it. I'm going with my water leaf. This soup um, is almost my favorite aside draw soup. So aside draw soup, this is my favorite. So I like to have a whole lot of it. So um, I'll give that a good stir. Then, but before I do that, let me go in with my periwinkles. So here is my periwinkles. I'll go in with some periwinkles like so. 
and stir to combine. My the aroma coming from this end there. Guys, Calabar guys, Calabar people, you guys are really enjoying. Please, if you have not subscribed up until this moment, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please do so. Because I know you are enjoying the video. So please don't forget to subscribe. It's very important. Turn on your post notification bell as well. So that you'll be notified when I post delicious recipes like this. So now that I'm done stirring that, I'll just cover it up and let it cook for a few more minutes. Because the water leaf generates water. So it's time to go in with my afang leaf. See how green and fresh this leaf looks. I had to source for the very fresh one for the very fresh one of it. See how fresh it looks. So this afang leaf basically is called um in my place we'll call it okazi leaf. Yes, that's what we'll call it. Okazi leaf. It comes um in very slim strands. Should I call it strands? Yes. It comes in very slim strands. So um, I just pound it. You just put it in there. After washing it, you just put it in your mortar and pound it thoroughly. Now, there's another thing to observe in this soup. When you go in with your alpha leaf, you, where your soup is looking a kind of... Um, would I say when your soup is looking a kind of watery, maybe you feel like the water in your soup is much, the moment you go in with your afang leaf, it just helps to absorb um, almost all the water in your soup. Yes, and make the consistency perfect. So uh, that's the that's what the afang does to the soup, actually, aside the awesome taste of it. So at this point, my soup is looking... Mwah, 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 mwah.